Umami Basics. In the world, there are many delicious meals. And there are various reasons for why the meal is delicious. For example, who you eat it with, or in what situation you eat the meal. As humans, we use all of our five senses vision, smell, touch, taste, hearing to comprehensively determine the taste of food. The variety of foods that we eat every day contains many amino acids. In fact, amino acid is one of the important factors that determine the taste of food. Amino acids support the lives of all living organisms on Earth. And all creatures need amino acids in order to live. Among the many amino acids that exist in the natural world, it is glutamate that is the most abundant. That's why it is used in a wide variety of foods. And the taste of this glutamate is what is known as umami, one of the basic tastes along with sweet, sour, salty, and bitter. Glutamate is included in many familiar foods. Through these foods, we come in contact with the taste of glutamate, or umami, on a daily basis. And umami, produced by glutamate, has a characteristic of becoming seven to eight times stronger through substances such as inosinate and guanulate. Inosinate is abundant in meat and fish, and guanulate is rich in dried mushrooms. Let's take a look at the combination of tomatoes and meat. As with cheese and dried mushrooms, foods taste better when combined with other foods. This is the synergetic effect of umami. So now you're asking, what kind of taste is umami? Let's look at three of its features. One, it spreads all over the tongue. Two, it lasts longer. Three, it facilitates the secretion of saliva. Let's try umami.